Welcome back! Click on the next... Bug Bar Graph! Hector and I are making a bar graph to show how many bugs we caught. Play! Drag the missing parts of the bar graph to the right places. Incredible! Good! Great job! Good job! Drag the bars up to show how many beetles and butterflies we caught. Then select Done. Drag the bars up to show how many beetles and butter. Drag the bar up to show how many butterflies we caught. Select the name of the bug we caught the fewest of. Good job! Which bug did we catch the most of? Awesome job! Did we catch more butterflies or grasshoppers? Select the name of the bug that is the right answer. You got it! That was fun, but we should let them go now. Good job! on the next activity. Norm Norman's Big Day. Norman, can you fill some more dumplings for me? Asked Mrs. Lee. You can count on it, Mom, said Norman. A number scout is always helpful. Norman carefully filled more dough wrappers with pork and cabbage for the Chinese dumplings, while his mom measured and mixed ingredients for the sauce. That sure is a lot of dumplings, said Norman. Well, we're a big family, said Mrs. Lee, and dumplings are a part of our culture. Whenever something special happens, I like to make them to celebrate. And you leading the parade today is very special, added Mr. Lee. Norman smiled from ear to ear. He had worked hard all year to earn the most badges of all the number scouts. Today, he knew his hard work had been worth it. He had been chosen to be the leader, the Grand Marshal of this year's Math City Parade. It was a big event. The whole community would be there to watch. Come with me, son, said Mr. Lee. I want to show you something. His dad went into the living room and picked up a photo of Norman off the mantel. Remember this day? Mr. Lee asked. You were just a junior digit back then, and I was the troop leader. Norman looked at the picture. In it, he was showing off his addition badge, which was the first badge he had ever earned. Mr. Lee pointed to more pictures in the living room. They had been taken during trips to Camp Triangle, during Bar Graph Day celebrations, and on the day he taught Norman the junior digit motto, stand up and be counted. And just look at you today, Norman's dad said, all dressed in your number scout uniform and ready to be the grand marshal of the parade. You'll be on the float at the front leading everyone else down the street. That reminds me, I have something for you, but I need to get it from the attic. Don't leave without me. Mr. Lee called as he bounded up the attic stairs two at a time. Just then, the doorbell rang. It was Norman's friends, Claudia and Ted. Hi, Norman, Claudia said. I'm so excited you're the Grand Marshal. Are you excited? Yes, Norman said, and a little nervous too. I want to be the best Grand Marshal the parade has ever had. Hey, where's your neckerchief? Ted asked. I'm wearing it, Norman said. Uh, no you're not, Claudia said. I must have lost it, Norman exclaimed. This is terrible. A number scout is always prepared, and I don't have a neckerchief for the most important day in my number scout life. Don't worry, Norman, Claudia said. We'll help you find it. 
Norman, Claudia, and Ted looked behind the pillows on the couch, under the rug, and in the hall closet. Norman was just about to give up hope when he saw his dad coming down the stairs. Mr. Lee was carrying a red number scout neckerchief. You found it, Norman shouted. You mean my old number scout neckerchief, Mr. Lee said. I've been saving it for years, hoping this day would come. I wore this on the day I was Grand Marshal of the Math City Parade, and today it's your turn to carry on that tradition. After Norman's dad put the neckerchief around Norman's neck and slid on the scarf ring, Norman gave him the official Number Scout salute. Now let's go to the parade, Mr. Lee exclaimed. Scoutmaster Murphy was waiting at the Number Scout float when they arrived. Ted pointed to the giant measuring badge on the float. I earned this badge from making dumplings, Ted explained, but not the Chinese kind. I used my aunt's recipe from Poland. The kind I made are called pierogi. Then Claudia pointed to the huge number sentences badge. My abuela helped me practice for that badge when we were adding up all the things we put into my sister's birthday piñata. The float looks great, said Scoutmaster Murphy. When all the number scouts were in place, the mayor of Math City spoke into her microphone. Welcome citizens of Math City, she began. We all come from different cultures and traditions, but we all share a love of community and math. As the crowd cheered, the mayor held the microphone out to Norman. Grand Marshal Lee, do you have anything you'd like to add? Yes, said Norman. One, two, three, go! The parade had begun.